I have had a recent addiction of getting platinum trophies in most of the games I've played. Most recent of which being Stories, Paths of Destiny. My experience with Stories was definitely a great one. Probably one of the most fun games I've played recently. It is the free PSN game in December of 2016, and I, as you should all as well, added it to my library with the intent of playing it later. Stories now runs about $14.99 on the PSN store, which I think is a worthy purchase. Stories is a single-player action-adventure game made by Spearhead Games, where you play as Reynaldo, an anthropomorphic arctic fox on his quest to save other personified animals from the evil Toad Emperor. The game has all the standard tropes of being a hero, traveling alone against a seemingly insurmountable force, falling in love, being betrayed, and most of all, violence to an extreme. The combat in this game feels great. It is very similar to the combat you'd find in the Batman Arkham series, where you'll be alerted if an enemy is about to attack you, and you can counter, building up your combo meter, making your moves do more damage. Combat is addictive, fluid, and most of all, fun. Your character will progress through the levels earning experience as you go, based on your fighting styles and if you took damage or not. As you go through varying levels of design and difficulties, you'll be facing hordes of enemy ravens, solving puzzles and making history-changing decisions. You'll be faced with some of the best humor I've seen in games since Ratchet and Clank series, and I love games like this. So this is definitely up my alley and I enjoy the game immensely. The whole point of the game is to go through and make tough decisions, and once you get to the end, you see how it all comes together. There seem to be upwards of 25 different endings, so in order to see them all, you have to go back to the beginning and participate in a New Game Plus type of system, with the added knowledge of all of your actions from the past playthroughs. The bare minimum that you need to play the game to get the complete story is five times, each time consisting of four different levels. Each different playthrough is different, and as you level up and upgrade your character, you'll have different paths unlocked to you and levels that you've already been to. Each playthrough is different, so getting to the complete ending is rewarding and exciting. Most of the trophies you can get from a single playthrough, it actually is very rewarding to just be going along and get a couple of trophies per level. This game has a total of 38 trophies, 34 of them I got on my single playthrough. Like I said, very rewarding. The only issue I had was going for the Platinum, in which you have to level up your character to the max level, complete every different story path. This means playing through the level upwards of 100 different times, however, I subsidized my time by also watching Netflix, so it wasn't all that bad. All in all, this game was great, and I definitely think it's worth your money, if you like to play games that don't take themselves too seriously. If you're a Platinum Hunter like myself, be ready for the long haul. I'm glad I got the Platinum, and I'm proud to have this on my trophy shelf. If you're interested in more videos like this, subscribe to the channel. We have videos uploaded at least three times a week. Me and my buddy, we do a podcast. We release it every Monday. We talk about video games, movies, and other nerd pop culture items. You can find us on SoundCloud and iTunes. Tweet at us at UPGamersPodcast, and you can email us at underpaidgamerspodcast at gmail.com. Like our page on Facebook. Find us here on YouTube at Underpaid Gamers. And if you'd like, follow us on Instagram. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.